And let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. Popular singer Michael Martell, who according to official results lost out in the race to be Haiti's president, has called for another vote with all 18 candidates. Mr. Martell says that the person who wins the most votes in the new round he is proposing should be declared the outright winner to replace outgoing President René Preval. Sweet Mikey, as he is popularly known, was according to the preliminary results beaten into third place in November's vote and ruled out of the second round of runoffs due to take place in mid-January. His defeat by less than 7,000 votes by the ruling party hand-picked candidate Jude Celestine triggered deadly riots and accusations of vote rigging in a nation marred by corruption, political upheaval, and a ravaged cholera epidemic. And in Grenada, the main opposition New Democratic Party in St. Vincent, which narrowly lost Monday's general election, has brushed aside Prime Minister Randolph Gonzalez's call for healing after a bruising campaign. Dr. Gonzalez's Unity Labor Party won eight of the 15 seats, with the other seven going to the NDP. He has appealed for a spirit of corporation in the interest of the country, but the opposition said it won't be softening its attack on the governing party. And Dominica's opposition leader Hector John has called on Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt to resign over the issue of the alleged dual citizenship. Mr. John says Prime Minister Skerritt breached the country's constitution on nomination day ahead of the 18th of December's general election last year because he was in possession of a French passport at that time. The matter is being heard by the courts after being brought by Mr. John's opposition Un United Leader Workers Party. But the party and its supporters say they now have evidence that the Prime Minister renounced his French citizenship earlier this year in February, and they were right all along that his election was flawed. And the people of St. Kitts and Nevis are starting to pay at least 50% more for electric bills by January. Prime Minister Denzel Douglas announced the price increase on Tuesday during his budget presentation. St. Kitts and Nevis has a massive debt burden, and the federal parliament introduced a value-added tax last month to help the fiscal deficit. Now, Mr. Douglas says his government will have to scale back on its electric subsidy. And finally, the owners of Varello Oil Refinery in Aruba have announced that they plan to restart operations at the plant within the next several days. The refinery has been closed for 18 months, causing significant hardship for more than 600 people which it employed. A number of factors were behind the closure, chief among them, according to the plant's owner, unfavorable economic conditions and harsh local taxes. The facility produced 235,000 barrels of oil per day. Varello says the restart was supported in part by the tax settlement agreement reached with the government of Aruba. The company says its operation contributes to more than 12% of Aruba's gross domestic product. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. The students and staff at Ricardo Richards School are getting ready for their pageant this Saturday. Here's Wes Small with some of the most adorable children in the world. Let's take a look. And it's starting to rain. We're getting a blessing. Don't worry, parents. We won't keep your little angels out here too long. It's the Ricardo Richards Prince and Princess pageant this Saturday at the complex at 1 o'clock. In the front row, we've got the little misses. And then we've got the misses. And then we've got the misters. Scrunch up that face. Here with the reigning queen of Ricardo Richards, Tia... Melissa Nicole Dawson. There you go. Tia Melissa Nicole Dawson. Four names with a beautiful girl. How did you enjoy your reign as queen this year? I did it. I, I enjoyed it fine. I did a lot of stuff with the contestants. Trying to teach them, huh? All right. Can we introduce this? Can we go down the line and see who we have here for the little misses? Hi, what's your name? My name is Kim. Good, good morning. My name is Kimisha Michelle Jada Greenwich, and I'm running for the Little Miss Ricardo Richard pageant. Wonderful. Good morning. I am Fanisha Shamara Emanuel, and I am running for li the Little Miss Ricardo Richards pageant. Okay. Good morning. My name is Miranda Kennett, and I am running for the Little Miss Ricardo Richards. Good morning. My name is Jalisa Elizabeth Rodriguez. I'm running for Little Miss Ricardo Richards. Wonderful. Good morning. My name is Ajanika Rebecca Hemi. I am in. I am a se seven-year-old second-grade student at in. Miss Fabio class. 
I am Yoka, testing number five. All right. Good morning. My name is Jasmine Caesar. I am an eight-year-old second grader, and I am your contestant number two. Okay. Moving right along here. Good morning. My name is Anna Gordon. I am tw I am a twelve-year-old. I am a twelve-year-old in Miss Crescent's sixth grade class, and I am also running for Miss Ricardo Riches. So your contestant number one. Okay. Good morning. My name is Kalia Abraham. I'm vying for the title of Miss Ricardo Richards 2010-2011. I'm 10 years old and I'm in Miss Edward's sixth grade class. Good morning. My name is Khadija Baltimore and I'm running for Miss Ricardo Richards 2010-2011 and I'm also your contestant number three. Okay. Go Good morning. My name is Shania Kiana Shiverton, and I am contestant number four. I am also running for Mrs. Ricardo Richards, and I am 10 years old. Okay. Good morning. I am Niara Watts, and I am vying for the title of Miss Ricardo Richards 2010-2011. I am a 10-year-old in Miss Jeffers' class. Good morning. My name is Dijani Lawrence, and I am 11 years old, and I am contestant number one. All right, Mr. Mister. Morning. My name is Raj White, and I running. I'm running for Mr. Ricardo Richards. All right, Pop. Good morning. My name is Neil Armstrong Jr., and I'm running for Mr. Ricardo Richards, your contender number three. Named after the man who walked on the moon. All right. Last but not least, the biggest linebacker of them all. Good morning. My name is Kishvin Lewis. I'm running for Mr. Ricardo. I'm contestant number two. Wow, aren't they adorable? I got to tell you something, and even the blessing held off. All right, sweetheart, once again, um, your name again? My name is Tia Melissa Nicole Dawson, and I'm your Miss Ricardo Riches, 2009-2010. They all have four names. Pretty rough for this reporter, but that's okay. They're adorable. You parents should be just, man, I'm so proud of you. Look at them. They're beautiful. Look at the big smiles. They all should win. There's no losers here. Saturday, 1 o'clock at the complex, this is the Prince and Princess pageant, Ricardo Riches. Give all of yourselves a round of applause. Go ahead. They're great, man. Virgin Islands is beautiful, isn't it? I got a smile Ajax can't wipe off. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Truly some adorable kids. When we come back from this break, we've got highlights from the Prince and Princess show. Stay with us. And here's some highlights from today's John H. Woodson Prince and Princess show. Adorable kids here on Channel 8 News.